Finally tonight here, remembering Apollo 11 astronaut Michael Collins and his journey to the moon. Apollo 11 astronaut reveals spooky secret about mission to the far side of the moon. Did Apollo 11's intrepid explorers find a mystery on the moon's dark side, bringing to light the hidden details of their groundbreaking work? Which brave astronaut disclosed this chilling secret? Come with us as we try to solve the mystery of the moon, which has troubled space fans for decades. In July 1969, the world watched as astronauts on the Apollo 11 mission made history. The mission's goal was to do the seemingly impossible, land humans on the moon and return them safely to Earth. This task was led by astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. Commander Neil Armstrong took the first human step on the moon and famously declared, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Soon after, Buzz Aldrin became the second human being to set foot on the moon. While his other astronauts investigated the lunar surface, Michael Collins piloted the command module, playing a critical role in the mission's success. His time alone in space has highlighted the courage and commitment of the entire astronaut crew. Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins inspired future generations by writing themselves into the annals of space exploration history. What do you have up your sleeve, a box? Among the many famous things said by humans on the moon, get that is not at the top of the list. A little packet contained non-essential goods that astronaut Buzz Aldrin had stashed in a pocket of his EMU, or Extra Vehicular Mobility Unit, just below his shoulder. These were sentimental items left on the moon as a gesture of symbolic and commemorative significance. Michael Collins, the experienced pilot, was the integral part of the historic Apollo 11 mission. While Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made history by becoming the first humans to set foot on the moon's surface, Collins patiently hovered above the command module to monitor their well-being and maintain communication with Earth. Collins, the unsung hero of the mission, was responsible for the essential task of maintaining the lunar orbit, which provided the lifeline for his fellow astronauts while they were on the moon. In spite of the fact that he was separated from his team by tens of thousands of kilometers, he kept an impressive level of professionalism and concentration, which was evidence of his superior training and unwavering commitment to the accomplishment of the goal. During the nearly 21 hours that he spent in lunar orbit by himself, he was able to engage in some personal reflection and get a fresh perspective on the accomplishments of humanity. His contributions to the Apollo 11 mission continue to be a crucial component of the historic lunar landing. They underscore the need for teamwork and collaboration, which are both required for such great achievements in space exploration. During the course of the space mission, Collins, who was an experienced astronaut, was given a number of crucial obligations to carry out. In his capacity as the command module's pilot, he played a crucial part in ensuring that the undocking, rendezvous, and docking procedures were all successful. These deft maneuvers were necessary for the overall success of the mission because they made it possible for crew members and supplies to be transferred between spacecraft while they were in orbit. Collins was in charge of overseeing and maximizing the performance of the complex systems that made up the command module. It was absolutely critical for both the well-being of the crew and the accomplishment of their mission that these systems work as intended. Collins was the right candidate for such significant responsibilities due to his extensive knowledge and experience, and he handled each responsibility with accuracy and dedication. He carried out responsibilities with unflinching commitment and expertise, establishing himself as an integral member of the space mission and making a vital contribution to the group's successful exploration of the cosmos. He was an astronaut on a historic mission to explore the secrets of the moon, and he had just gotten started on what would be an astonishing voyage. Over the course of more than 21 arduous hours, he found himself trapped inside the peaceful yet secluded confines of lunar orbit. As he floated over the lunar surface, he was surrounded by the expanse of space, which made the world below seem extremely remote and unimportant. During each orbit, there would be a total of 48 minutes where he would be unable to communicate with Earth or the other people on his team since the far side of the moon would block any and all transmissions. When he looked out at the desolate landscape and the many stars that dotted the cosmic canvas, he was able to enjoy a level of solitude that was unmatched by anything else. In spite of the isolation and distance, he remained unwavering in his commitment to the task at hand. His determination was fueled by the realization that he was investigating a region that only a select few people had ever been to before, as well as the hope of re-establishing communication with his home planet and the companions he had left behind. He was determined to discover the secrets that were concealed on the opposite side of the moon. Collins began his voyage to the moon with a sense of wonder and exhilaration mixed together. 
As soon as he set foot on the lunar surface, he was immediately mesmerized by the peacefulness of the foreign world that surrounded him. The only sound he could hear was the low buzzing of the life support system built into his spacesuit. Silence engulfed him. Collins found himself alone in the immensity of space, but he didn't feel lonely at all. Instead, he made the most of his time alone, seizing the exceptional chance to detach himself from the bustle and activity of planet Earth. He was left speechless by the breathtaking sights of the moon's desolate and cratered environment, and he couldn't help but be in awe of the splendor of Earth as it appeared to loom magnificently in the distance. With a sensation so profound that it was difficult to put into words, his heart was filled to the brim with a tremendous sense of awe and appreciation for the cosmos. Collins made sure to savor every minute of the experience because he was well aware that very few people had the good fortune to watch such a show. As he made his way back to the spacecraft, he brought with him not just a newly discovered sense of calm, but also a lifetime's worth of memories that were carved into his very being. The opposite side of the moon, known as the far side, is characterized by a huge expanse of tranquility that envelops the lunar landscape in peaceful silence. This lonely location provides a priceless chance for scientists and astronomers to engage in radio investigations that are unaffected by the incessant radio traffic of Earth, as well as interference caused by humans. Because the moon itself acts as a shield against radio waves coming from Earth, this region becomes an oasis of calm and a prime location for radio astronomy. Astronomers are able to fully utilize their apparatus and antenna within the secluded region, allowing them to focus their attention on picking up on the universe's most inaudible sounds. Researchers are able to eavesdrop on distant celestial occurrences in the clean environment because it is free from the cacophony of human communications. These researchers are able to capture elusive signals from far-off galaxies, pulsars, and cosmic background radiation. The far side of the moon serves as a haven for scientific research, providing researchers with an unmatched level of clarity and accuracy with which to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos. Collins's recollections were a moving demonstration of the significant influence that the mission had not only on him, but also on humanity's comprehension of the cosmos as a whole. It was clear that the expertise had left an everlasting impression on his spirit as he reflected on his position as the pilot of the command module during the historic space voyage. Collins was able to gain a fresh perspective on the meaning of life, existence, and the role that we play in the universe as a result of the seclusion and loneliness of space, which is separated from Earth by immense stretches of nothingness. His contemplative musings on the precarious nature of our world and the interdependence of all forms of life struck a profound chord with the general audience and prompted a collective reflection of our duties as stewards of Earth. The awe-inspiring beauty and grandeur of the universe that Collins describes helped rekindle people's interest in space travel and scientific research. The mission had brought humanity's understanding of the cosmos to new heights, and Collins' recollection stood as a tribute to the everlasting significance of that extraordinary adventure. Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to our channel for more, and do check out these videos as well.